This is my business, it's Funky Monkey Rustic Carpentry. And uh, I sort of, uh, sort of work as like an old fashioned village carpenter. It's very important, you know, it's important that we keep these skills alive, really. And green crafts really enable people just to see a, a wide variety of, uh, of, of wonderful old skills. I sort of use green woodwork and sort of woodland carpentry and combine those two styles and create my own sort of funky rustic sort of caveman carpentry thing. Think of um, if you think of the Flintstones and think of my furniture. So that's what I try and do. That's, that's I'm whittling down a star. Um, I think it's made of elm wood. I have, I've tried loads of the crafts now um, at loads of the different stalls, but nothing like this yet. And this is quite exciting because you don't get to do kind of woodwork every day, do you? We're making a stone, and um, I think it's just interesting to do use techniques that we don't have the tools for at home. So we wouldn't have sort of like a woodland sort of bench like this. We don't have a draw knife at home, so it's useful. It's nice to do this. I think it's part of what I would expect from a festival like Glastonbury. I far prefer this side of it to the sort of acid rave music side. I think this makes the festival. I find this whole week really inspirational because it's it's a week where I, I get to be you know to be able to hang out with some really talented people as well. Different disciplines, different skills. You know, I don't know nothing about glass blowing and, and sort of felt work and jewelry making. And so it, it's it's really great that we can just all come together, all get to see each other's different styles of workshops and get, get to see their their structures they bring. Uh, I find this whole week very inspirational. It's the best week of my year. My name is Jamie Miller. I'm a roundwood timber framer based in West Wales. We were building this way for hundreds of years, thousands of years. And it's just in the last 150 or so, we seem to have just completely forgotten. We wanted to come and enhance the festival and be part of the festival, not just to come and make money or to do things like that. So there's a great community of people on this field, really. End of last year, we formed a, a worker cooperative called Tipren, which means wooden house in, uh, in Welsh. Uh, and the aim is to develop sustainable building uh, for a low-cost housing alternative uh, for Keredigian and hopefully for the rest of the UK uh, and to form a bridge between individuals who want to self-build uh, and community groups uh, to do building as well. This framework is, is the largest building you can, you can construct and put on your land before planning permission. So it's kind of a handy size to know really. It's about education really and getting people involved and knowing that there is an alternative and there's one that can actually help the planet create local jobs, use local resources, sustainably, environmentally friendly, so. And it's all about confidence building, I think, and empowering as well. I mean, the, the self-builders that we want to tap into with T-Pren is about people taking control of their lives and being able to, yeah, construct their own homes, know how to maintain them, how to, how to keep them going, and also connection with the natural world, natural materials. We're cutting a, a mortise for Presumably one of these end pieces to then slot into later on, so it's going to go, go this way. It's a nice little place to come and have a wander around and try your hand at different things and have a go at you know doing stuff that you haven't quite done before. I'm Robin Wood. I'm a wood turner, and I'm uh, here in the green crafts field making wooden bowls and wooden plates. I've been making wooden bowls and wooden plates on a foot-powered lathe for. Uh, 18 years now. It's not often these days that people get a chance to do hands-on activities, particularly taking raw materials 
um, and doing a simple activity, taking it through to a finished product. When I talk to people outside who've never been to Glastonbury, they 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 think of it as a music festival. But everyone who comes here knows that it's so much more. There's so many different sort of performing arts and the, the crafts and. I think that's what makes this place special. Wandering around the green fields is just a brilliant way to spend that time. And there's a little piece, like a little belly button, just to clean off by hand. It's a great skill. I don't see anything like it, so I'm just amazed by it. The weight of it's a lot more than you think. My name is Kate and I am a green woodworker with Spinny Hollow. We decided to come to festivals to do workshops with young people and adults and families to really look at how we could get people involved in green woodwork and other rural crafts. And um, yeah, so this is why we're here now. It gives people an opportunity to do something really hands on that they don't think they can do. Um, and also just to reconnect a bit more. Like that, curving it, or am I going to. No, that's fine. That's the real joy of it, really, bringing back those rural crafts and Renaissance crafts to actually. They're now. <laughs> the, the things that we do now, and it's not just ye old stuff, it's practical, brilliant stuff that makes you feel good. So. I'm also count like rhythmically, it's like right, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, okay, so back, just, just do it one, two, yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and you're right, heal, and relax. And, relax. and also we do sword making and wand making, so we've got lots of pirates and knights and budding swordsmiths running around, <laughs> which is great for the vibe of the festival because it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, it's a great introduction into using green woodworks. We have a pirate and we have a knight. I'm the pirate. I'm the knight. One of our things that we love to do is to do these fun workshops like make a magic wand, make a sword, um, which is a way to grab people in to actually to have a go. And then as soon as they're on it, they're like, yeah, wow. This is incredible. And then they'll go to the big drilling station to maybe put a cross piece in. And then they finish by, of course, uh, having to swear an oath, the spinning hollow oath, <laughs> to make sure they don't do evil in this festival and only good. Whoa. Well, this brings a chance to uh, escape into your own world a little bit. You can make whatever you want. You know, there's so many people from different skilled backgrounds bringing so many different talents to the field. I'm so proud of it. <laughs>